Hi, I'm Prof Al, and welcome to Chemistry Matters. And today we are going to be looking at a stoichiometry problem or two, and this is going to involve uh, a reaction that we looked at in a previous video, and this is the reaction of nitrogen and hydrogen to give ammonia, like so. Now, we spoke uh, about the whole mole ratio idea and the fact that the balanced chemical equation tells you the mole ratio in which reactants react to give products. <clears throat> and we talked about um, solely the number of moles of nitrogen, the number of moles of hydrogen, and the number of moles of ammonia. Now, in the lab, this isn't particularly convenient because what we want to talk in terms of is not necessarily amounts of substance, but actually masses of materials, because that's what we go and um, <clears throat> weigh out on our balances in order to do chemical reactions. So let's start with our balanced chemical equation again and say, right, we have got ourselves 5.00 grams of nitrogen. The question then is, what mass of hydrogen is going to be required for this to react completely? And what mass of ammonia are we going to get out of this, again, assuming that the reaction goes to completion? So this is pretty much what you might call a classic example of a uh, stoichiometry problem. So what do we do? Well, being a stoichiometry problem, there are not many possibilities for the particular uh, equation that we're going to use to solve uh, this particular problem. If you're not quite sure where to begin, then the best thing to do is look at the data that you've been given and then try and match those data to an equation that you know. So here we've been given a mass. And you might think, okay, well, that's all of the data that we've been given in this question. All we've been given is a mass. No, you haven't. The other thing that you've also been given here is a chemical formula. You've been told that you've got five grams of nitrogen gas, N2. Now, what can we get? What can we work out if we've been given a chemical formula? Yes, you guessed it. You can get a molar mass, can't you? So you haven't been given one piece of data, you've actually been given two pieces of data here. You've been given a mass, and you've been given a molar mass. And hopefully that's gonna twig something with you because there is an equation that contains both mass and molar mass, isn't there? And that equation is, remember, molar mass is mass divided by amount of substance, isn't it? Remember that really important equation that we've talked about a couple of times already. So this is the rule with stoichiometry problems. If ever you are given a mass of something, you can always calculate the amount of that thing because you can always get its molar mass simply by going to the periodic table. Okay, so that's something to remember, it's, that's really, really important when it comes to stoichiometry problems. If you're given a mass, you can calculate an amount. And generally, once you've calculated an amount, everything becomes clear as to where to go. Back to our question here, we've got five grams of nitrogen. Where do we begin? Well, the obvious place to begin, hopefully it's now obvious, is we've given a mass, we've got a formula, so we can calculate now an amount of nitrogen. So, number of moles of nitrogen is going to be mass divided by molar mass of nitrogen. And that's gonna give us our number of moles. So therefore, we are going to go with five grams of nitrogen and the molar mass of nitrogen, you go to your periodic table, you'll find that the uh, molar mass of nitrogen is given as 14.01 grams per mole. 
Now, really important point here, nitrogen atoms have a molar mass of 14.01 grams per mole. Nitrogen molecules are made up of two nitrogen atoms, and so therefore they are going to have a molar mass of twice that, two times 14.01 grams per mole. And that's going to be equal to 5.00 grams over 28.02 grams per mole. And that is going to come out at 0.178 mole. Again, we make sure that we have rearranged our equation correctly. We look at our units. Our units here on the top line, we've got grams. That's going to uh, cancel out with the grams on the bottom line. You end up with a mole to the minus one on the bottom line, which is the same as a mole. So we're all set. We've done the rearrangement of the equation correctly. Okay, so as I said before, even if you didn't know where to begin, you can always figure out a number of moles if you're given a mass. So that, please, please, please remember that because that's going to be really important uh, in many stoichiometry problems, I'm sure. So we now know the mass of nitrogen that we started with. We've calculated now the number of moles of nitrogen that we have started with. The question said, right, what mass of hydrogen do we need to react with that? And what mass of ammonia are we going to get out of this at the end? So let's maybe just write this down. We say, right, we've got 0 0.1, whoops. We've got 0 0.178 mole of nitrogen there. And let's now do our calculation. We go back to the equation that tells us about mole ratios because we need to know now how many moles of hydrogen are going to react with this number of moles of nitrogen. So how do we do that? Remember, we can say, right, we, we can say that the number of moles of nitrogen divided by one is equal to the number of moles of hydrogen divided by three. Remember, we're just dividing the number of moles by your stoichiometric coefficients, okay? We want to know the number of moles of hydrogen that's going to react with this number of moles of nitrogen. So therefore, the number of moles of hydrogen, rearrange this, multiply both sides by three, and that's going to then give us three times the number of moles of nitrogen. So therefore, the number of moles of hydrogen is going to be equal to three times 0 0.178 mole, and that equals 0 0.534 mole. So now we're looking fairly promising here. We've calculated the number of moles of nitrogen that we've got. We've calculated the number of moles of hydrogen that we are going to require to react completely with that number of moles of nitrogen. And simply now we need to calculate the number of moles of ammonia. So we do that in an entirely analogous fashion. Okay, so we Again, find out the mole ratio between these two. We say, okay, so the number of moles of nitrogen over one is equal to the number of moles of ammonia over two. Therefore, the number of moles of ammonia multiply both sides by two, two times the number of moles of nitrogen. So therefore, the number of moles of ammonia is equal to two times 0 0.178, and that equals 0 0.356 mole. Okay, so that's all good, 0 0.356 mole. So we are now well on the way to solving this problem because what we need to do in every stoichiometric problem that we've got is work in terms of amounts. So we're saying that one mole of nitrogen is going to react with three moles of hydrogen to give us two moles of ammonia, or same thing, same mole ratio, 0.178 moles of this is going to react with 0.534 moles of that, three equivalents, to give 0.356 moles of ammonia, and that's twice the number of moles 
of that. Right, so remember the question asked us, what mass of hydrogen are we going to need to react with this? And what mass of ammonia do we get out? <clears throat> so, how do we do that? We now have uh, a number of moles, and we have a molar mass, and so if we have a number of moles, and we have a molar mass, then we can get a mass, okay? Because remember, number of moles has units of mole, molar mass has units of grams per mole, that's gonna give us units of grams, which is the unit of mass. So, for the mass of hydrogen that we require, we are going to have 0 0.534 mole multiplied by the molar mass of hydrogen. Again, you look it up on the periodic table. We've got two atoms of hydrogen in each molecule. Molar mass of 1.008 grams per mole. And that then is going to give us 1.08 grams of hydrogen. That's the mass of hydrogen that we're going to need to react completely with five grams of nitrogen. What about the ammonia that is formed? So again, we use the same equation. The mass is going to be the number of moles multiplied by the molar mass, and that's going to be equal to 0 0.356 mole multiplied by in this case, we've got 14.01 for nitrogen, look it up on your periodic table, and three times 1.008 for hydrogen grams per mole, and you multiply that out, and that comes to 6.06 .06 grams of ammonia. And there you have it. Um, as I said at the start, that's really a stereotypical stoichiometry problem. You start off with a mass of a particular reactant, you're asked to figure out the masses of other reactants, you're asked to figure out the mass of product, and you do that all using a single stoichiometric equation. You use your mole ratios from your balanced chemical equation uh, in combination with that uh, single stoichiometric equation, and everything hopefully just falls out at the end. So, uh, hopefully you have learned a little something about stoichiometry today, and we'll see you next time.